Um, my name is Robin Atkirst, for those who I haven't met. Um, and today we're tasting the 2015 Clopagas Mitsuko Chardonnay. Um, so, great vineyards. Naturally, a, like a low yielding vineyard uh, due to the soils, the slightly cooler climate down there, and the wind. We get, um, we get lower yields, which concentrates the uh, intensity um, of, the, of the fruit. As well as that, we've got a couple of clones which naturally don't produce as much as other clones of Chardonnay. So the Shot Wenty, for example, um, just adds to that intense flavor. Um, alongside Shot Wenty, we've also got some Dijon clones. So um, a sort of classic Burgundy um, varietal uh, clone. And um, yeah, all sitting on loam, heavy loam soils down in Carneros. Um, so one of the cooler sort of sub Appalachians of Napa Valley. Um, literally this vineyard sits and you can see the San Pablo Bay. So all that sort of cooling marine influence just flows up and just chills the vineyard off. Um, it's a relatively late pick for a Chardonnay vineyard uh, because of this. And that again just goes to sort of add to that complexity and um, intensity of fruit. You know, it's, it's the, the longer you can hang that fruit, sometimes it's the better, you know, you can sort of build up those uh, flavor profile. So you should get a fair amount of that um, barrel influence coming through there. This is all barrel fermented fruit. So we take the juice, put it in barrel, inoculate in barrel, and it all ferments in that vessel. Don't, we don't do it in tank. So you get a real integration of oak um, coming through. And that's what I get off this wine, alongside some really nice acidity, some crisp, clean flavors, 100% ML, so you get that nice sort of buttery sort of um, uh, creamy sort of character, which goes so well with barrel fermented uh, Chardonnay. Um, yeah, it's good.